Afternoon world, it's about 1 p.m. on Wednesday the 17th of February 2021. There's another four days of this Mercury retrograde to go. It's been a bit difficult. There's a lot of um, not so much uncertainty or confusion out there, although we've lived in a year of that, more inertia. Not a lot's happening. But yeah, the Mercury retrograde is ongoing, but I want to focus on a particular aspect of the Mercury retrograde. In this last week, as Mercury has slowed down in readiness to stop moving backwards, it is practically standing still now and will be for the next week. And it is standing still around 12, 13, 14 degrees of Aquarius. It's been there for a week, it'll be there for another week. At the same time, Jupiter has been at 12, is now at 13 degrees of Aquarius, will be at 14 degrees Aquarius in a few days time. So we are currently halfway through a two week long conjunction of Mercury and Jupiter. Now, normally a conjunction of Mercury and Jupiter will last for a maximum of two days because Mercury normally moves to two and a half degrees a day one and a half to two degrees a day, and it will pass over Jupiter and be clear of it within 48 hours, 72 hours at the most. So normally a Mercury-Jupiter conjunction lasts for two or three days. And Mercury conjunct Jupiter in a birth chart is a lovely aspect because Mercury deals with the way you read and write and think and speak and move and the communication you have with yourself intellectually and with the world socially through traveling and partying and with others through text and email and speech and phone and, and various other forms of social media. Jupiter deals with growth and expansion, optimism, hope, humor, faith, belief, as well as being over the top, larger than life, mountains made out of molehills, overstretching, overreaching, overspending, overweight, over everything, as well as also undercutting and undermining. Nevertheless, Mercury conjunct Jupiter individuals are generally quite optimistic. They've normally got a good sense of humor. There's a strong wit. Uh, there's a little bit of irony and sarcasm there, depending on which sign it's in. But now we've got this two to two week long Mercury conjunct Jupiter. So I want to explore this. So because it's a lot there for two weeks, there's going to be the negative side of Jupiter Mercury being amplified. And the negative side of this is, and, I, and I've, I've stressed this before with regard to the COVID up, outbreak, the negative side of this is very much around um, the potential for mental despair. We just give up. You just think, I can't do this anymore. I've had it. I've been, I've been stuck indoors for a year. Um, I just can't do this anymore. The step above this is depression, where just the weight of the world, the gravity of situations, and especially at the mental level because of the Mercury connection with Jupiter, it's like, oh, I'm just so tired. And it's not just a tiredness of the body, it's a tiredness of the soul. It's a kind of mental emotional, spiritual, and physical weariness. The level above that is a kind of despondency, where it's just like, oh, it's never gonna get back to what we used to know is normal. It's never, I'm never gonna be able to jump on a package holiday again and sit in a sardine can of, a, of an airplane going off to some exotic Spanish beach or something like that. You really wanna go back to that? Um, and yeah, the days of cheap flights are probably over, even with the vaccine. But um, the, de the, the despondency where it's just like, oh, it's never going to be as good as I can dream. Yeah, that's there. And above that, there's the melancholy, which is like the tears of the clown. But wait a minute, there's a neutral side to Mercury conjunct Jupiter as well, and that is where you're seeking to expand horizons. You're seeking to experience not just information, because information, data, words, understanding is Mercury's domain, yes. But Jupiter is the bigger side of things. So here we're not looking so much at information or data, we're looking at knowledge and meaning more than understanding. 
the wisdom that lies behind words, the wisdom, the domain of the wise. So Mercury Jupiter is pretty much um, affecting those people um, in, in a way that's bringing the sense of wanting to expand their higher mind, to reach for a more meaningful philosophy, to be able to walk their talk, to live life in truth, to expand their own version of truth, philosophy and higher mindedness in a way that says they're not just paying attention to what other people teach them, but they're actually living the truth and being the truth and walking their talk as opposed to just preaching it. And the positive side of Mercury Jupiter does bring a good sense of humour. It brings the capacity for hope and optimism. And we're seeing this because in many countries now, there is the first signs of lockdown coming to an end. And whether this is because of the, the warmth of the summer coming back, whether it's because the, of the vaccines, whether it's because as the virus mutates, so it weakens, there is hope. And there, you know, there's going to be a time. And I think I've, I've, for, for months I've been talking about this new moon that's coming up in the middle of March, conjunct, ne conjunct Neptune, as a symbolic ending of the threat of the virus, hopefully globally. This Mercury-Jupiter thing though, right now, it's affecting a lot of people. And there's a few people who are really getting hammered by it. It's affecting those people born around the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th of August. It's affecting those people born around the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th of November. It's affecting those people born around the um, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th of May. And it's particularly affecting those people born around the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th of February. If you're one of these people, it would be really easy right now and in the coming couple of weeks for situations to suddenly get blown out of all proportion to reality, to be over the top, larger than life. In English, we call it a storm in a teacup or mountains made out of molehills. Think hype and spin. Pop situations with a hat pin and just pop the balloon. If you think hype and spin and don't buy into the overinflatedness of situations, it will come down to earth and you'll see it as it really is, not the way it appears to be. This is not a negative time, but it is a time where there's lots of false promises and false hope. And it's up to you individually how you deal with these times. Personally, me, from my astrological knowledge, I am retaining my sense of hope and optimism about the future. I'm not buying into the hype and spin of all the false promises of the uh, politicians. I am listening to the scientists, listening to them, necessarily taking everything they say as gospel. I'm not only listening to the scientists, I'm listening to the homeopaths and I'm listening to the psychics and mystics and I'm listening to the, the pragmatists. I'm trying to get as all round a picture as possible and I suggest we all do this. But at the moment, Mercury's conjunct Jupiter and it'd be very easy to allow situations to become either overinflated and over the top with over joyousness and over expectation of the world and of ourselves or the opposite, to get depressed, to undermine, to undercut, undervalue, and to allow despondency and depression to become the norm. The hardest thing at the moment is to strike the middle ground, to hold the middle ground, and to retain that just for this next week or so, 10 days or so, because by the time we're into the end of February, this influence is gone. Mercury stops going retrograde in, I don't know, three to four days from now, We're getting towards equinox. I don't want to be too positive here, as if. But it's not looking too bad. And and by the way, a big, big thank you to all those people out there who have commented on that Chiron um, video I put on the streaming page of my website. It's easily the best of the teaching sessions I've done so far. I'll be doing Uranus, Neptune and Pluto over the coming three weeks, but 
That Chiron one was brilliant. Thank you so much for all the nice compliments. Okay, catch you later world. Take care and stay centered. Bye now.